Today I'm going to do a chili hot sauce. First I'm going to show you what I did to start this fermentation. I grew chili myself. Mm -hmm. I put boiling water in this jar so it's sterilized. I'm just cleaning those with tap water. The empty jar weighs 837 grams. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of carrot and a little bit of thyme. As you can see, I chop it into uh, medium-sized pieces. I'm going to do the same with the paprika and chili. Uh, you could also process this in a food mixer before fermentation, but I'm going to ferment first and then process in the food mixer after fermentation. Keep your eyes open for discolorations. This looks good, but if it's like dark or green, brown, throw it away. Leave a little space up on top so for liquid. I want 2.5 percent salt. Oh, so that was a big jar. Minus what the empty jar weighed is it would 807. So that much is in the jar. And 2.5% uh, of that is So 56 grams. So let's see if I actually have 56 grams of salt left. Nope, I only have 11 grams of salt. Okay, I'll have to add some more. This is also sea salt without iodine. Now I have 56, so I just have to make sure this is salt before pouring it back. This water in here has been in here previously, so it picked up some of the lactobacterials, what's going to make it ferment. And there is uh, for sure more bacteria in here too so to make it ferment, but if I use the same water and pour it back, I, I won't waste any good bacteria. This salt water solution, which if you wonder if it has a name, of course it has a name, it's called brine. So I missed a little bit, it doesn't matter so much, as long as most of it comes inside here, I can always fill up with tap water. Oh, the fumes here is not, it's not trifles. So two ways this can fail, fermentation. It can fail if the container isn't clean, that I sterilize it with boiled water. And number two, it can fail if everything is not submerged. And you can see, it tends to float up to the surface. So I want to push everything down below the surface of the brine. Bag with water inside it is pushing down, so everything, yeah, nothing gets in contact with oxygen. And now and then, maybe once a day, just open the lid for a tenth of a second, and so you hear a little fussing, and then put it immediately back. So now no air comes in, only the overpressure comes out. The lower temperature will ferment slower, and higher temperature will ferment faster but it will have a cost. Uh, the optimal recommendation is like 16 to 19 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so I think this is pretty good temperature here in this room between the house and the garage. And also how long should it ferment? Well, if you look at YouTube, most people making hot sauce are uh, saying one week. People who uh, use general fermenting, they're saying two, at least two weeks. So, I think the hot sauce chili guys are actually wrong. I think this should stay at least two weeks and you can even wait three weeks.